on a Thursday. Seven Problem Solvers is our commitment to giving you a voice and getting questions and answers for your consumer problems. A viewer from Buffalo reached out after seeing a recent story that she could relate to an apartment trashed by tenants after they were evicted. Seven Problem Solver Michael Schwartz takes us to Walden Avenue in Buffalo where a similar situation is happening. Good morning. You remember that problem solvers we brought you in January of the Albion landlord Vicky Galasano, who was down thousands of dollars from tenants who didn't pay rent during the pandemic. And then when they were given a nuisance order to evict the property, they trashed the place. A similar situation right here in Buffalo. OK, I'm going to try it. Rose Woodson is a military mom to sons who served in the Marines and Army, along with a daughter who served in the Air Force. About 15 years ago, Woodson bought this duplex on Walden Avenue for her children so they would have a place to live when they came back from service. I kept that house spotless. Her daughter moved into the lower apartment five years later and stayed for a few years. From the moment that she left out of that house, Woodson says the last tenants who lived there left it trashed before they were ordered a nuisance eviction in November. A pile of garbage in the living room right when you walk in. The kitchen sink still full, drawings on the wall, and then Woodson's boyfriend Leslie showing me the bathroom. I freed up a lot of pieces already. I get angry. The couple says it started in January of 2020. They start refusing to pay rent. And they was coming up with all kinds of excuses. Like Leslie says the tenants damaged property on purpose to make excuses not to pay rent. And then when the pandemic struck, they found another reason not to pay. You can see they broke all of this here. Oh, God. Woodson, who collects Social Security, says the almost two years of no rent has put her out around $15,000. I want my property fix. I want my money back. I'm not asking for anything that's not mine, and it was mine anyway. Rose is now just trying to get the thousands of dollars back to make this property rentable again. In Buffalo, Michael Schwartz, 7 Problem Solvers. Michael, thank you. Uh, Michael did reach out to one of the tenants and literally moments ago, I just got a text message from Michael. He heard back from that tenant who says they didn't leave that mess. Huh. So we're going to continue to follow up with them and the landlord throughout the day. So if you have a situation, though, that you want Michael to investigate consumer issues, homeowner dilemmas, email him at 7problemsolvers at WKBW.com.